we're going to look how you can add a soundtrack really quickly to um, your file, your working file. So in Adobe Premiere, there's several already pre-selected soundtracks, which you could use, but I'm really encouraging you to try to use your own. But let's just see how it works. Uh, you would basically import the uh, sound file um, in your add media. If you wanted to go and get your own on your files and folder and go get your sound file and just then click and drag it from the media, which would show up on your project assets. Okay. Um, I'm going to just add some sound to the music library. I'm going to use this one. Drop it in. There you go. You get to hear what it sounds like. Great. Click this. Uh, pause it here. Of its own. Give me a second. So I'm going to drag it in. And you'll notice that it's not long enough. So I'm going to click on it, double click. Then the screen comes up and I can listen to it. Again, here's your playhead as usual. And what will happen is I'm going to keep this scene going. So I'm going to play it right at the end here. And I'll stop it right there. And I'm going to click set out. So it cuts out the rest. All right, and um, I could also cut it here, by the way. So I'm going to click X, and I'm going to click on this timeline. I'm going to click Control C, Control V, and I'm going to drag this next one right over here. Oops. Let's try that again. Okay, clicking where there's nobody, where there's nothing. I mean. Uh, control V, there you go. And what you're going to notice is it doesn't quite fit. So I'm going to move with my timeline, which I can always shrink here, by the way, a little bit. Drop it. Now they're clipped. Okay, I'm going to click here. And I'm okay with that. Now I'm going to right click. And what I want to do is time stretch it. Okay? And you see the time goes up 29, 20. I don't know exactly how much I need here. Let's just do this for now. <coughs> That's close enough. So now by sound, basically, this has basically changed the beat, though you should be aware of that, but probably won't be noticeable as a viewer in this kind of assignment. So here you go. Now I'll be able to go to the beginning. And you can hear the sound. Let's just uh, play it for a second. Close my asset file. Okay, and that's how you add sound to your Premiere file. I'm going to now show you how to add narration. So let's go to the beginning here. You'll notice there's a narration button. So that means, um, well, one of the things you're going to have to probably do on your computer is go to your preferences, which is under edit, click preferences, audio hardware and you'll have to click on this uh, usually the default is these are unchecked so I checked mine so that I could record and um, click OK so what this will do is it'll enable the mic to work when I record narration directly from within Premiere so I don't have to go record it somewhere else and then bring it in so now I'm ready to record my narration so I'm gonna go to tools narration okay here you can see I had to turn it up a little bit mic sensitivity if you can see this move it means your mic is plugged in something that's critical before you start recording is that you turn off the sound of your speakers because it's going to create a feedback loop so you'll hear like a real loud screeching noise so turn that off and I highly encourage you to put your headphones on any good recording studio always has good headphones uh, we don't have that here but you can put on your own headphones and you basically put the playhead where you want the narration to start in our case we want it to start at the beginning so I'm gonna click um, record Three, two one art is life photo essay by Mark Dubo here we have a statue of the thinking man one of the most famous statues in the world.
Art is a medium to express your thoughts and ideas. Images are much more powerful than words. Art allows the viewer to feel what you are saying, not just see. Art is a window into the soul and can reveal many powerful lessons. Stop. And I can uh, now, I'm going to just close this window. I'm going to turn my speakers back on. You can hear it. In your case, you might have had your headphones. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll go back to the beginning. And it depends on the recording. The mic could depend on quality you have. There's ways to uh, improve it. So let's see. First thing I notice is I can't hear my voice or the music. Now there's a couple options here. This yellow line can be brought down. Uh, but I'm going to do something a little simpler for now. I'm going to go right click on the uh, audio track and clip gain basically is the soundtrack for this. I'm going to bring this on scrubbing. So I got my finger on the the uh, left mouse button. I'm just scrolling, going, 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 going. I'm gonna go all the way to up to 20. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's start it over. <coughs> Much better. Now I can actually hear what I'm saying uh, over the music, and it has a really nice effect. Now, there's more effects that you could add to the sound, but for the purposes of this tutorial, that'll be pretty much all that we need. Okay? Let me just... Oops. Close that. That was an error. 